So here we are again. Nice sunny day on a Baltic Sea beach in Latvia in some sand dunes. And it's chilly. It's the end of October. It's chilly. So today's quick question and answer is, if I'm unable to change my negative core beliefs after several years of therapy, does that mean I should call it quits? Someone saying I'm valuable and great doesn't do anything since I can't believe it myself. What do I do? Boy, that's a question a lot of people ask. Negative and self-destructive core beliefs can be very difficult to change, but it certainly can be done. It takes consistent introspection, self-monitoring of your thoughts, feelings, beliefs, and reactions. It takes learning the skills necessary to discern those beliefs from the truth. And once you recognize the truth of who and what you really are, then to dissolve those core beliefs. Fighting negative core beliefs or accepting them only makes them stronger. Ignoring them only allows them to control you and your life. Trying to replace negative beliefs with positive statements and affirmations only causes frustration and inner conflict. Trying to replace the dark beliefs with light beliefs also only sets up that inner conflict. Consider the fact that your real identity is beyond both of these extremes. The key is to use them like shadows that define the light. As you recognize the core beliefs and realize that they are lying to you, eventually you will realize the truth. It's basic deductive reasoning. Once you discard all the lies, what you're left with is the truth. Here's a clue. You are much more wonderful than merely negative and positive, and much more powerful. And the truth is that you are not those dark core beliefs, and they are not yours. They are what you are not. You are so much more and so much more amazing than the negative and positive within you. Once you recognize your authentic self and live that, those old core beliefs will dissolve and the past will remain power powerless where it belongs, in the past. Of course, this is very superficial and a very high level description. It's a part of what I call self-awareness therapy. I suggest you speak with your therapist about this or work with a therapist who can support you in this process. I've written a great deal about this at www.lifesensors.org. You're most welcome to read more there if you wish. There are also self-care processes and exercises that I've posted there that can help you to do this. It takes a great deal of work and commitment on your part, but it can certainly be done. And if you feel you want or need my support, you can certainly contact me through that website. I'll be more than happy to help you. So from this sunny day at a Baltic Sea beach, I wish you all the best. Take care, and I'll talk with you again soon. Bye for now.